What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Spanish Empire. To pick up where we left off, we are going to um, attack and destroy this small Mughal force that, that they seem to keep um, landing against our coast. And I do need to keep destroying it because I'm kind of concerned that sooner or later, if I just ignored it, they would just keep dumping troops here. Until eventually they're so big I need to actually send a good force to destroy them. As it is, we've got this force under Enrique to go and take him out, so let's do it. As per usual, the majority of the stack is made up of low-quality infantry. They've got, they got a couple of units in there to be to uh, to think about, but in, in general it's not a... I'm not. You don't really need a full firepower army to deal with a stack like this. Um, but, so it, but it does kind of highlight that I need to keep a, a guard force here to deal with any potential Mughal incursions, especially because they have shown that they will... The Mughals will keep that pressure on us unless we make peace, which I might try and actually do. Let's put my Marines and a Walloon Infantry on one flank, and let's put the Royal Cairo Infantry Guards and some infantry on the other flank. Pikes, just take a position. General in the centre. And then we've got our skirmishers up front. Let's just try something like this. I don't normally do do the whole skirmisher game. Ooh, yeah, you can see how important firepower use of firepower is going to be. So I haven't actually. Yeah, it's not a bad target to shoot at. So keep them firing as a pair, both against... You guys go for the Kizilbashi, you guys go for the... Actually, let's keep, uh, keep firing on the centre. Because you guys, guard mode on. So we've got the Walloon infantry hiding and making ready. So we've got our grenadiers here who look just excellent. Pounding this unit of mercenaries. So I may move my pikes over to the left in recognition of the fact that this is where our fewest troops are, and we may end up. Actually, no, I'm going to pull you guys back. I'm going to pull these guys back because I want to position them on the flank to picket the enemy. Let's get my general. Look. Oh no. There we go, general over here. Start to aim at this large block of men. I, I, I feared my men. Tr I'm trying to trying to pull my men back right when they start to uh, attack, and then you see. Okay, actually, no, you guys really are too far away. So let's pivot this line. We can hit the center, which we've got a Regimental Dissolia in there. When they get up to no good. Let's send my pikes to chase off their bowmen. Until my general can get into position. Our volleys are, for, are off. Yeah, these, yeah, they're not going to stand. I, could, I really could do with them having a bit more cavalry. There we go. So these pikes have not retreated and they've been hit by my tertio pikemen. So my general is going to wait here for these chaps to rout. Islamic Swordsmen are joining the fight, so let's get my General's bodyguard out to the rear. Let's get my artillery here, focusing on that unit of Sikh Musketeers. Let's take these units out on the flank, pivot them round, because they're starting to retreat. That'd be a good firing position. Let's 
get my cavalry here. My pikemen are going to do quite well against the bowmen, but everyone else... Canister shot. Actually, you guys go for 16th. You guys go for the men coming in for reinforcements. You guys hit the back of the bowmen. This infantry advance. You guys stay firing a round shot. You've hit the bowmen in the rear. Good, and that means my plates can now focus solely on the... Ooh, my gorillas have been hit. Charge my Cairo infantry guard into them. Okay, my general can hit the Islamic swordsmen. Okay, there we go. So we've repelled our melee attack. Switched to round shot. Engage the Hindu musketeers coming in. You guys focus on the horsemen right at the rear. Yeah, my general's going to chase down the swordsmen because they're a bit of a dangerous unit. Pikemen are just going to provide a bit of a bit of a watch. If these Dakili tried to drive to go and drive in this direction to kill my general, we've got a bit of oomph to counterattack. Okay, I might actually get all my artillery start bombarding the men they've got to the rear. They can fire a volley, surely. Oh no, they're waiting for one guy back there. I mean, I've charged my pikes, but they decided to run the other way. Because you would like love them. Ooh, okay, Kizlobashi have come back. The cavalry's coming in. So let's take these units, you guys, advance them up. There we go. My pikemen are going to cut these Dakili into pieces and they're actually going to route through our lines, which is lovely. There we go. Pouring fire into their infantry mercenaries. So let's actually pivot this line to face against the new threat. Get my general back here, get my pikes back here. You men advance up into the Sikh Musketeers. Then get ready to push on. Actually, let's focus. We'll get one unit to hit the camels, one unit to hit their elephants. Swordsmen are creeping back. I was hoping you guys might reload and get a volley off. So the enemy oh, enemy army has been knocked out. Some units here are hanging around, attempting to cause a nuisance, but it will not be in their favour. There we go, so let's get my infantry to advance my general. Continue to chase down the Tercio pikemen. I must admit you're in a bit of an odd position. Once my line advances here, those Hindu musketeers are going to go down. 
I might get all my artillery to focus on the general. Yeah, you guys push up, reload. Pikes advance around the flank. There we go. So these Hindu musketeers are not going to stick around for that. With... <laughs> For that for very long. Nope, there they go. Camel nomads. Come on in, you come. Oh no, they're coming in. Yeah, so stay out of square until they they were charging, but they deployed into square. Where is that general? He's back there. There you go, so everyone's going to unload on the Camel Nomads. Ready or not. There they go. General's bodyguard is not going to be long for this world. They've pushed up to the, to the section of the battlefield where they felt they were strong. That turned out to be false. Push up around the flank to go take out the 16th. General's bodyguard is wavering. So when my infantry is set up, when my guerrillas, are they going to creep within range? They are going to creep within range. And the artillery's coming in. That's two, three elephants down. Yep, yeah, there they go. Yep, so all that's left is the 16th. We're not going to chase them down. I am more than happy to let this brave unit of infantry mercenaries form square, ready to fight enemies on all fronts. However, the Walloon infantry, which is in pretty good shape, the Grenadiers, which haven't lost a man until now, that one guy. He's wavering. Grenadiers might not even get a shot off. There they go. Well, the Wallian infantry got some parting gifts. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, so this kind of thing is going to... We're going to have to keep doing this. Because I don't want the Mughals to build up a uh, solid core of troops. I mean, we know they don't seem to be inclined to do anything. They are. They seem happy to just sit there and be quiet. But I might still slowly build it up with more troops. Make this a, a pretty good army, really. That's what we want. See, the Russians are there. The Austrians and the French are going to be up to no good at any time now. So it has been suggested to me that I use this army at Crimea and land and maybe go for Yerevan Tbilisi. Well, that's pretty good. Well, it does open up a a longer border with Russia for now which I don't really want yet that, so that idea to take this army from Crimea to hit Tbilisi and Yerevan is a good one definitely, because if I take Tbilisi that means the Russians have to either push through here or through here, I mean assuming I take Ardabil but right now I think I want to gobble up Damascus, Jerusalem and Cairo I want to just absolutely consume them and then uh, consume them and then well then we can start to consolidate ready for Russia because I really want to this is going to be a mess so I want to try and gather as much gather as much firepower as I can while I've got the while I've got a bit of breathing space to pick at some of my smaller enemies so you're getting ready to go hit the Mamelukes we've got an army outside the gates of Damascus but they they need replenishment but yeah once I get these territories I'll feel a lot happier about because in Empire the thing the AI really doesn't like is having borders and I appreciate I have a border here a long one but if I start to expand too much they will go to war with me because they, they don't like me already yeah they're hostile so I don't want to give them any I don't want to give them any reason to to uh, declare on me. And it has been pointed out, I could 
well, I, I, I am going to need to turn on the French at some point, and the way to do it is declaring on Louisiana. But I'm still, in, in general, I think I, I'd rather try and squeeze Austria and try and gain territories like Zagreb and Vienna away from the French. Because right now, we've gone and bottled in pretty well. Like, we've got Britain. We can land and attack, attack their cities whenever we choose. Whereas, it, it, considering this, all the amount of fire, the amount of effort they're putting in to attack Austria here, it's kind of in my interest to keep France afloat. So, I might give them reorganized procurement for five grand. Good. So, I want I do want them to hold off Austria. So you, I'm going to want to pick up another... Pick up another howitzer unit. Because I want... Well, when, if we end up having a, a battle over a bridge here, I'm going to want the howitzers. Um, hmm. I mean, we are, we are getting ready to fight that war against Austria. It's really starting to chuck it down now. Yeah, I need to spend this money wisely, and that's that's why I'm so I really want to capture this region or this section part of the world in preparation for a future global war. Because right now I really don't want to fight that unless I can, unless I really have to. Um, but in terms of upgrading anything with this money, I mean Port Royal is getting better roads. Yeah, let's upgrade the town here in Punda. Although maybe the port might be a better longer term upgrade. The roads we can't do. Let's upgrade the government building in Trinidad. Cool. Okay. So in terms of tech, nothing immediately on the horizon. But obviously once we can, we want to get quick climb. So let's hit end turn. Yeah. France will have to fall. If it, it, what would be interesting is if if Austria killed France, what happens? I mean, they're pushing through northern Italy. Ooh, nope. Oh, they've lost northern Italy. They've lost it bad. Yep. They're trying to fight them with whatever they got, but they've got nothing. I mean, it's not impossible that they... Have they taken Turin? They've taken Turin. So Genoa is now an isolated pocket. Yep, I need to be ready for war against Austria. And that means I need to beef up the garrison and forces in Italy. Because that's a lot of guys. And I need quickline. Yeah, they're going to take my... Take my little... Oh no, eh, fourth rate. Yeah, let's see how he, how he does. Hey, he lost, but he killed one of them. <laughs> We're going to take... Yeah, once we take... If we can take... If we take Cairo in short order, that's really good. And to be honest, I might... I start, I've start building up another army in Spain and push through northern Italy from the west. Because obviously France is my ally. I can walk through mainland France. I can provide support to prevent them from taking Paris. I mean, I know... I know it's it's tempting to let them swallow France. But, at the same time, I've been playing this campaign fairly thematically, and it would behoove me, I think, to create an army to help defend my ally. Yeah, Mamelukes are sending away. <laughs> They've got their first agent. Got a rake in Portugal. That's really good. Because I could send you to cover here. Cover the crossing. So the Lusitania Regiment. I mean, I could send you aspirationally, but I don't want to. Let's get you. Let's get the Lusitania Dragoons in. Let's get... Ooh, okay. I saw some fancy cavalry there. Guardia Decor. Let's get let's get one of those. Missile cavalry. Got a bunch of conquistadors. Let's get some German Cressier Royal Regiment. 
Then let's get some. You haven't got any facilities for making 24 pounders in Spain. So let's get some Regimento de Infantia in Memorial del Rey. And let's get some. And that looks more oh, you. Foot Corps Guard. Good. We've got one infantry slot and we can get you. Awesome. So that army's ready to rock and roll. We can start to pick up some. Okay, so what's the difference in Tercio and Swiss? Tercio, more morale, less charge bonus. So generally Swiss pikes are better than Tercio pikes on balance. So let's get two Swiss pikes. And let's get... Are you running out of population, Lisbon? No, okay. Let's get two Swiss grenadiers. And two line. That'll start to help. Okay, so Mr. Leon, just go hit Mirza Abdullah. Yeah, see, all they all they do is just slowly run longer, you know, more further and further, further along the coast. They don't intend on actually doing anything. Newport emerges in Providence. That's pretty good. So you need to replenish. You're dug in. Get some frontiersmen. Upgrade. The Weaver's Cottage, get you into port. We also need to... Yeah. Yeah, so the French don't really know what to do. Okay, so Rome, you need to beef, beef up your recruitment. And also, let's just focus on expanding their line infantry. The line infantry... Um, composition, then obviously Felix needs to do something, but he's only he's a bit old. So let's move, get ready to move this brig over to Cartagena because Tito, you are going to march to port. I mean, what are the odds that they've now got some massive backer? Uh, trading with Spain, we're well, trading with us and the Ottomans. So let's get you over to the Western Mediterranean. So where did my I can't remember where my shattered ship went. Where did he go? Lists, fleets, alone, fourth. There he is. Okay, let's get him into. Okay, let's take these four threads out to go hit that Ottoman fleet. Just automatically resolve it. It's not going to be a. Yeah, it's just a fifth rate, which I am going to take into service, into my service. Then you go sail back to the dockyard in Turkey. Where we will rebuild you. Yes, you're expanding your capabilities. Okay, Royal Curacier guards are on their way as well. But you don't want to go too mad here, because I want to do this. Declare war. Don't call any allies. And let's go and take Cairo from the Mamelukes. And then that opens up a southern flank to go hit Jerusalem. And then that knocks up Damascus. We potentially take Baghdad. Um, but Cairo is quite a valuable region. They've got a good amount of towns there. So that's quite important for our economy. I think... I think... This is going to go pretty well. So my artillery is going to go on this raised ground to the rear. My howitzers 
pick a commanding position in the centre. I'm going to put my Royal Halberdier Guard and my Walloon Guard. They're going to go through the town. Let's put three infantry units on one flank with some skirmish support. With some cavalry support. And then let's put my Walloon line infantry on the other flank with skirmishers. Oh my god, I've got way too much artillery. Let's take the other cavalry unit you support there. General in the centre. Just let my howitzers fire at will. Oof. They did some good, did some work there. Oh, because it, they've got nine. Oh, because they've got barely good line of sight. <laughs> okay, fire round shot, everyone. And then you guys advance. Advance on this flank with the conquistador. You can start running. Feel artillery up on the hill. You're not actually shooting at anything. So if I pick an artillery unit, will you just blast your way through? One gun will. A handful will a handful more will fire if I target the semini. Okay. Squeeze around the flank. Come on, let's get my heavy infantry in here and get them scrapping. The right flank's fairly unmolested. So this unit, yeah, they, they took a real hammer in. This central position will fall quite quickly. Take everyone except. Everyone is running. So now you so now over here, this is where the first shots are gonna be fired. Halberdiers. Oh god! <laughs> Let's give them an order to just get stuck in. Because these guys also have to get an order. The order to just get stuck in. Because they're not going to get... So let my infantry here open up against the camel nomads. Some Azars have been spotted. These men have to set a half to just attack. You men halt. Fire a volley. Okay, there we go. My infantry's got him. Push, push, push. Royal Halberdier Guards charge the Semini. You guys clear out the Demi Cannons. You guys clear out that infantry unit there. You guys smash into the Riskers of Souls. You're going to clear out that unit of pikes. And 
There we go. Big melee fight. Halt the howitzers because they're not doing anything useful. Heavy cavalry run around the spikes. Yeah, Riskers of Souls are in the fight here. Maybe I could have actually just stood off and let them fire by rank in. But I can't really afford to not can't really afford to ignore them like that. Yeah, these ours have formed up outside of outside of the line. Let's run you guys in here, get you guys around. You can't actually do too much because they do have some defences to the rear. If you guys can knock out the riskers of souls potentially get some real nice shots off into their rear. So you go for the general's bodyguard. You men smash the Azar. There we go. It's got a great combat here between my Royal Halberdier Guard. And then my heavy cavalry comes smashing in. Not just any heavy cavalry, Spanish conquistadors. Bringing the light of Christianity back to the Eastern Mediterranean. And my Walloon guys will do quite well here. Semeny are falling. Let's see, if I give these guys a charge order at someone else, do they automatically kill the Semini? Yeah, they do. Okay, run them slightly off axis because of this defence. Then go in. Slam! There we go. The unit of Feline that's holding holding off there we go everyone except the cavalry here just run up and form a new line cavalry trot over to here well run because there's no defenses to worry about there so with a it was a brief and bloody exchange there you go my gorillas opening up against the Feline, who are immediately unsettled by the fire. The 93rd are in position. Okay, you guys fire at will off while my cavalry get into position. Fire at will back on. The 93rd are reloading. Soon they will open up against the Feline, while my foot guards, my halberdiers are actually still in formation. But there we go. The Feline are now... Yeah, they've been cut down by our volleys. Ooh. Yes. Excellent. Splendid. So we do need to rebalance this army and get the artillery rights. That's a lot of howitzers. One fewer howitzer unit would be better. There we go. So the Mamelukes have been destroyed. We can... We can take the city. They don't like us, but is it because they've got a university? Nope, they've got lots of good... Aha, yes, they do have a university. So that'll take care of the public order problem. Um, we can build in this free slot down here. We can build a church school. Keep the coffee house, because that means we can build... Or we will be able to build... Oh, no. No Swiss line here. Very well. We're going to knock it down to expand our economy. Then we're going to build some better roads. Oh, and then we're going to take this major fishery and knock that down. And replace that with a trade port. And that's pretty good. So you're still going to be replenishing. Wanting to see what they do here at Damascus. Hopefully we can take Cairo pretty quick and march east and take Jerusalem. Because then if we can take Jerusalem, we've taken Cairo, Jerusalem, Damas and um, Syria. I would be it would be tempting to try and make peace again with the Ottomans. 
So we've sorted all the buildings out. We've sorted out the new rake. Let's upgrade the drill school here in Lisbon. So when we do group recruiting, we can actually recruit from more places than just Madrid. In terms of trade zones, we've not got any visibility on the coast of Brazil. I mean, here we've got tied up pretty good. Same with here and in the East Indies. You've also got tied up pretty good. That is occupied. But I could use this fella to have a look at South the South American trade zone. Just to see what it looks like. If there's any easy prey. Yes, the moment looks to be destroyed. But that's not fine. Wait. Did that just warn us about a raid in Gaza? Enemy raid! Gaza! And you go, yeah, but Gaza's not ours. Oh no, it, it punted our ship out. My mistake. Let's repair the weaver's cottage here. Okay, Dana. That's going to be destroyed. Steam engine factory soon be here. That's pretty awesome. Let's hit in turn. Ooh. No. Just leave that as is. Yeah, if we declare war, or if we fight, start fighting Austria, we can take Klausenberg and push up towards Croatia, even towards their capital. But don't worry, France. Hold on. We're building our strength. I mean, I'm curious. I mean, they've got a lot of they've got a lot of troops in the Americas, and it's like, yeah, why don't you do something with it though? Why don't you do something with it on the continent where you need it? Because that's where all your problems are. You've got lots of people really angry with you. But yeah, we need quick climb. We need, we really need quick climb to offset the the need to uh, recruit similar quantities of troops. Don't worry. Soon they will declare on us, and when they do, we will push in the Balkans. But yeah, I would like... Well, ideally, they will wait to capture Genoa, and I will march in from the west and start and take Turin and start to pick away at their forces in Italy. But they are quite... quite well dug in. Yep, so that's Genoa taken. Never has the... The need to build up the Rome garrison been been so strong. When that army in mainland Spain is done, then we will begin the attack. Because Austria right now holds most of central Central Europe. We could potentially get some offensives going on from Britain as well. If we expand the, that force. In London to a full army, we could actually do something with it. There go the Mughals. Right. Got a rake in Crimea. That's also useful. So let's take this rake up and infiltrate Moscow. Two new towns. Brunswick in Maine, which is good. And Baltimore and Maryland. Well, I'll take it. New port emerges. Varna in Bulgaria. That's good. Let's get a trade port. And let's get a galley from Izmir. Let's upgrade you to a global trading company. Let's try and do one a turn. Upgrade the Weaver's Cottage here. Okay, so let's get this sloop over to Providence. Slowly, incrementally upgrade Boston. We do need to spend most of our cash here. So let's build two line infantry guards, two grenadier guards. 31,000 a turn. That's not as much as I'd like. Get two howitzers. You're still doing pretty good. We can send this consignment of infantry up there as well. Okay, so let's move. Actually, I might move you here. See what's... Because they've pushed up. I need to keep an eye on if they make peace. So this spy... Where'd he go? There he is. Okay, you instead go to Prague. 
works. I am surprised the French aren't pumping more troops into it because Marseille is just there. If they take Paris, then we have to immediately declare on them because we can't let them get away with such actions. Workers on strike in Egypt. Not anymore. There we go. Let's replace you with a... Building a church school, put you into a craft workshop, and you into a smith's. Let's make Egypt a proper little industrial centre. I mean, I might even, if I'm lucky. Yes, I am lucky. March on to Jerusalem. Successful mission. So yeah, Vienna, that's quite useful. In terms of upgrades elsewhere, could you do with metal roads? Okay, I can upgrade metal roads and upgrade this to a water power cloth mill. One more turn till we get steam engines. That's pretty dope. Okay, I think that's pretty sure it's everything. Yeah, I know you're still a bit unhappy. That will get get a tiny bit worse. But don't worry, it won't be for long. Let's hit end turn. Oh, I keep... Okay, I should have checked the recruitment here. Oh, there's a damn Ottoman raiding force that could be frustrating. Right. Okay, yeah, good. Go to port. Ooh, ooh, okay, are they fighting back? I hope so. But I would like to consolidate my territory in northern Italy. Hmm. Yeah, Austria's got a lot of... A lot of good production. But hopefully, well, if the French can keep them off balance and stop them from gathering too much strength in northern Italy, when our army is done, we can actually help out and we can push and take Turin and get on a bit of an offensive because my army there can hold the the bridge near Vienna pretty well. Not Vienna, Venice. And obviously you've got the armies in the Balkans that can push up and threaten the southern sections of Austria. Oh, they're pushing they're pushing into Par into French territory properly now. Yeah, I need to get that army in Madrid done. Because if they take Paris, we will declare and I'll, t I'll take Paris. Yeah, stealing my technology, Ottoman Empire. It's not... Well, you know, can't blame them. You have no alternative. Yeah, they're going to raid everything now because I was dumb and forgot. First thing, well, actually, they raided one thing. We've got a little garrison um, in Ankara, which we can use to, uh, to destroy them. But I am particularly keen, because we're getting steam engines this turn, to then just spend a whole bunch of money upgrading a load of my territories to have... Steam powered cloth mills, steam engine factories, steam pumped iron mines. You know, that's 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 a critical and a massively powerful technology, I think. Hey, we've got agent at Ankara. Good. So let's send the agent to Damascus. The garrison here can just pop out. Attack. Mussel Halim. It's just an artillery team, it's a gun crew that ran around causing all that causing that uh, chaos okay so fleet arrives no, there's no enemy no enemies trading here so it's russia Ooh, okay let's take this trade post right so there's three so we three zones are able to be occupied so you go fight the remnants of that army. Then you men replenish on the way back to Tangier. Let's upgrade 
one commercial basin. Then let's go to... Are you a commercial? Yeah, 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 you're a global trading company. Yes, you recruit two galleons per turn. That's probably quite useful. It's got three spots, three ships per spot. That's... I mean, I could recruit from more docks, but I'm not... We're not in a rush to occupy those territories. Once we've got them and they're ours, that's fine. So we spent a lot of money on galleons, which might actually be a poor decision. Especially when I can just... It takes two turns and I can just keep building them every turn. Especially as we have steam pump technology. Oh no, we need power loom for steam power cloth mills. But what about... Yes, Iron Masters works. Steam engines... Yes. Oh, they're all looms here in Spain and Madrid. Oh no, there's one up here. So let's upgrade you. Average yield steam pumped iron mine. But I think I'd rather go for an Iron Master's Works in Swansea. Because that's going to earn us a bucket load of cash. And you, Seville, straight on to Quicklime. Critical tech. Critical. Cambridge should probably be on with something else. But I think Salamanca's going to get. Classical economics. Maybe go back on to secular humanism. Okay, so Spain. Guard to, uh, special cavalry unit. Okay, first of all, you join up. You join up. Okay, if I move you here. That's within range for Lisbon to reinforce. Three elite infantry units. So I could do with two sharpshooters. Get some... Oh, one guerrilla unit. Oh, I've got no money. Right. Shotgunners. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, that's all, mo that's all units I can't recruit. Well, I haven't got any money. Most of Chiefly, that's the biggest problem. Okay. Cairo is coming around. Soon you will be part of the family. Tito. Let's go and take Jerusalem away from the uh, the Ottomans. Then when we take Damascus, we can try and get a peace. We can position one army near um, position one army near Baghdad, ready for an offensive. Position another army, maybe to hit towards Yerevan. And then move another army back west to the Balkans, ready for the future offensive against the Austrian Empire. There we go. We're gonna do. We're just gonna blow the bejesus out of them. So let's just go for a proper frontal assault. Infantry on one flank, Walloon line on the other. Obviously got our Walloon guards and our halberdiers up front. Skirmishers ready to deploy wherever there's a good opportunity. Cavalry ready to, to deploy with the same overall strategy. Quick, oh no, Karka shot the center. We've got Mamelukes and Camels. So let's just start... Clearing out some of these enemy cavalry units. And let's start advancing our units up. Because yeah, they've got a couple of good units like the grenadiers, but they've got, they've got lots of archers. So they've got a bit of Islamic swordsmen here, but they will get slowly and surely um, chipped away by my quick by my um, artillery attacks on the center oh like that so good so if you attack ground properly you could pr maybe get a much wider spread on the amount of damage so I attack ground all together in one place, which means obviously they're going to blow one giant hole in the middle, but I've spread them out into a line now, so they should keep chipping away at the rest of the entire uh, 
slot. Okay, you guys you guys don't advance too far up. Because I don't want to get within musket range. I mean, look at that. Okay. Okay, my how is to start to focus on that side of the fort. The hope is that our combined artillery we could potentially make them we could potentially trap some of them. So we're engaging on the walls. I'm speeding up time because right now we are just blowing holes in walls. Those guys are firing but I'm going to turn the firewall off. Once you've made at least this hole I can advance my wall and infantry into it. Field artillery sure has ceased fired. Nice one. There we go. Boom. Did you guys survive falling? No, that can't happen. Okay, let's actually not attack that section of the wall anymore. Quick climb the centre again. I want my halberdiers to charge in the breach first with their awesome and mighty looking halberds. I might just stop my... No, ah, no. Stop firing. You guys, don't run that way. Okay, you may attack. Okay, you guys all attack that camel unit. You guys, get in here. Actually, to be honest, only one unit needs to do that. You attack that Mamelu guard unit. There you go. Royal Halberdiers versus Janissary Grenadiers. Oh, if you guys don't come up quick, we're gonna be ready. So this is part of their their problem is that they can't. They don't mass while we're in fairly low numbers on the wall, then they won't be able to push us off. I'm not going to give them orders to attack yet, because we've already got some units that want to get up to no good. Yeah, there we go. Go on, halberdiers. Charge those camels. See, they're tired. But they're encouraged because they're charging. So let's strike down. Ah, the older guardsmen. Islamic swordsmen are also ready for a bit of a ruckus. Okay, let's give them attack orders. Let's run one of these guys around to the rear to catch all these um, archers. On the hop. These men charge. You guys charge the Israeli. You guys charge the Armenian archers. You guys charge the rear of these Armenian archers. That should cause them some morale issues, especially for these guys in the tunnel. But of course, they are along the entire length. You men fight the garrison Azar. They will, they will soon fall. Halberdier guard should do a real number on these archers. There we go. K 
keep killing him. I need I would like to support the 94th. Let's give these these guys attack orders to just run straight through. Okay. Yeah. Help me a guard. Hopefully they can knock out the Armenian archers. I mean, I've not even brought my cavalry to bear yet. I mean, this is a general field marshal of the army. They're not a slouch. There we go. So the men defending the walls are done. So we can send more men on to attack the first order of Israeli. These are my Walloon guards getting stuck in. There we go, the first order falling beneath their muskets and their halberds and it's another step onwards to the victory of the Spanish Empire and they've gone so you guys make sure you do a, you keep it killing the archers as they run through your unit but let's end the battle there really nice very very nice indeed that's another well, Jerusalem's not a super useful territory. It's They've not got many towns. You don't make a lot of money out of Jerusalem. We've got a school, so let's destroy that. We can build a... Yeah, Elat is the only town. You can get a port. And Jerusalem, Jerusalem itself hasn't been invested in, really. No, I mean, not at all. I mean, we should get some good growth from our all of our research and technologies. You guys are now in nearly in good shape. You might attack them. Well, actually. Armed Populace is the only units that are actually in really in particularly good strength. Got some Israeli units, but no, that's a that's an auto fight there. So if that's Damascus taken, we go to the Ottomans and say we request peace and trade once more. So, I mean, they don't like us, but now, it means one of these armies, probably this one, can position himself within striking distance of Baghdad. So if they think about causing trouble again, we can immediately push and take them. We can we can, we can uh, bring war to their own lands. So Elat is being destroyed. Okay. Got no money. So let's hit end turn. Let things roll on once more. Yes, bring more troops back to Europe. America, the Americas are full of friends. You don't need all those troops there. Are you going to deliver those, tr take those troops anywhere? Hmm. Meanwhile, the juggernauts of Austria... Uh-oh. Uh they're demanding Gibraltar, but selective breeding, no, shove it. This is how it starts though. They're starting to try and demand regions from us and we don't want to give it because that would be silly. Okay, the Rome garrison needs to deploy. Uh oh, they're pushing on Paris. That's not good. That's not good at all. At least we've we've tidied up the uh, the Ottoman front. Yeah, that sh that f those ships are just gonna be an annoyance more than anything. But let's drive our well. Let, let's, let's reinvest in the Middle East and let's ship one of the armies back to potentially even Italy itself rather than the Balkans. The Balkans we've got good strength. We can take Transylvania pretty quick. We can push up and take um, some of their border territories pretty quick and all, and then fairly rapidly be threatening Vienna. I mean Russia's the, the wild card but we've got some we do have troops to act as a bit of a bit of a breakwater if the Russians attempt 
to get up to no good again. Oh, for God's sake. Well, dare I call in my allies? Let's see if Austria joins... Do I, do I, okay, do I use this to try and make it a giant war? Let's try it. Yes, France has joined us. All right, then. Well, you, you shouldn't be able to push into my territory too easily because you have a fort right there. It's a bit of a bummer. Obviously, they're going to push on Crimea, but I can advance my Crimean garrison out to, to hold the the bridge. Uh, yes. No, I don't want your sick rate. I mean, I, well, I should have, really, for trade reasons. Okay, I might build up my London garrison to go take Stockholm from the Russians and then use that to try and go for peace. If they don't go for that, then we'll go for Finland. I think that would be a advantageous decision. Catholic missionary in Egypt. Good stuff. But I might push what make you run up to Crimea. So what I mean is... I can sit here and hold the bridge. Crimea doesn't like us, but if I don't tax them, and I immediately start building... Ugh. Okay, let's build. Uh, maybe... 12 pounders might be good because right now I've got demi cannons. I'd like to get rid of those and replace them with 12 pounders. Obviously, I've got some troops here that can be sent north if we need to. Um, but what I want to do is I'm pretty sure if I take Jerusalem and just say not interested, I march out. Yeah, they're okay. So then let's take one of our. Let's take the fifth rate that we captured. Use you to embark the army. Because it could be quite beneficial to have another army on the front here. Because in the Balkans we've got we've got some good armies here, fundamentally. So then this ship can't really go anywhere, but just make them come back. So let's upgrade you to a trading port, a shipyard, get rid of it. Upgrade the mine. Let's get you need to get rid of this shipyard as well. So let's get you to build three light galleys and then Damascus itself. Repair the buildings. Let's get the city rebuilt. Let's get some industry built. I mean, I, I doubt. Actually, let's actually. Where's my? Actually, let's get you over to Jerusalem because we're going to build a craft. We're going to build a pottery here. Some good, good upgrades. I mean, lots of lots of stuff we can upgrade. So many industrial buildings are not top tier. Um, but it is war with France. War with Russia is it's a frustration, but it's not. It's not a massive deal. So let's take this army then. Let's go for three howitzers. No, it's a twelve pounder. Three howitzers, and we need some cavalry. So let's get some two two regiments of horse. So I want to build up this army and I can go and take Stockholm away from Russia. Then we can use that as a base of operations in the Baltic. Meanwhile... Oh, are you recruiting... Oh, I, didn't, oh, I didn't save enough money to finish that army this turn. That's okay. Well, I could just find something I'm building and knock it on the head for a turn. Like a drill school and an ordnance factory here in Cairo. Because we don't need them immediately. 
and instead go for it's light infantry you really want. And I'm cute. Oh, I mean, I'm not. I'm not enamoured by the Irish regiment because they're described as light infantry, but I've only ever seen them fight like line. So I'm pretty sure that's a a wrong tag. So, I mean, mercenary guerrillas we can get. I don't really want them. I don't think we can really get true skirmishes. Well, we can get, no, we can still get... Okay, let's get two of those guys. And then that's this army done, and we can march them east. Uh, yeah, we can march them east. I mean, it's sad this army didn't do anything against this Austrian force, but I'm hoping that they can hold off. Let's upgrade the Military Academy in London as well, because that could be useful in the future war. And let's take these ships. Oh, we can't replenish them because we don't have any cash. Okay, let's hit end turn again. Okay. War with Austria is pretty inevitable, and if we, to be honest, if we start, get, if we go to war with Austria now, that will be quite tidy from a a, a war perspective because we can just push against the Austrians and then push against the, the the Russians at the same time. Yeah, I'd very much like Quickline, but I'll take Carcass Shot. That's another army been put together. You know, if we could draw some of them in against that bridge near Venice, that would be pretty awesome. One more turn till the army's been built. They demand military access. No, you cannot, because they probably want to go for well, they don't, need to, they don't need to go through my territory to go to the Russians, and I'm not going to give them an axis to fight against the French. Hmm. No, things are going well. Things are going very well. I just need to keep my... Oh, my building in... In uh, Istanbul is broken. Well, not in Istanbul. One of the one of the towns is broken. Yeah, steal all you like, Ottomans. It doesn't really matter. You've you are not a major concern. So the Russians, I would like to take Kiev. Well, to be honest, Russia's now. That's the second time or third time that the Russia has declared war on us for no reason beyond our capture of their territory. And I think they now should should pay the price. I like having the the Ottomans there because they are acting as quite a nice buffer against the Russian Russian Empire in the Caucasus. They will be captured in due course. But I think if we take well, if we take Stockholm from the Russians, that would be pretty good. It will draw us into war with Sweden. In down the line, because obviously it's their capital. It looks like they are building their strength. Because we do have a fort covering the passage towards um, Iasi, Moldavia. We do have yeah, we do have an army and a fort, so if they push, we can fight to repel them. Ah, oh, no, I forgot about their ah right. Again, so we lost no ships, but we're going to retreat because. We technically lost. So the Russians are pushing the... F okay, they're going to start to gang up on my individual ships now, aren't they? But again, that's a loss, but we actually didn't die. I mean, this is fantastic naval strategy from Russia. They're winning against us, but they're not actually killing us. I mean, they might kill... No. Okay, so I should... I need to bottle up the Baltic now. A big shipbuilding program in Portsmouth to build a fleet to sit off of the Danish off the Danish coast to block the Baltic access from the Russian fleet accessing the sea. Go on, Sweden. Take out Russia. Take out the Russian fleet. So now we've got some galleons that have been recruited. So they raid right away, that's fine. 
Um, but, 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 but. So down here, so let's recombine my fleet to just go and squash that Russian fleet. Let's bring the sloop into our service. So if I combine my big ships, let's take Sloop, have them sit on a region, split this fleet into two, sit on another region. So I get my galleons to start sailing over. So you could definitely recruit more per turn, but there's no... We don't have a massive need to do that. Let's upgrade you to steam. Actually, no, not yet. Straight to Madagascar, so obviously got this fleet here that can sail and dominate that small Russian fleet. We will take the fifth rate into our service. The fifth rate, you occupy that trade post, you guys occupy that trade post. So we own the entire, <laughs> this entire region. Okay, so maybe we do want to start churning out some more galleons. I should I need to keep buying the occasional upgrade like that. Okay, so you've got there's your skirmishers. We can march troops up here. Get a spy to infiltrate Paris to try and keep eyes on where the Austrian army is. There it is. Or in position and can replenish. Well, soon to replenish. Um, okay, let's get ready to do a bunch of industry upgrades. Although, yeah, these are all quite good yields. Sugar plantations and their top tier technology. So once they're bought, they're bought. Abundant yield. Let's get a sugar warehouse. Okay. So let's buy a let's buy a fifth rate. Actually, actually, I'll send you guys out. Get the blockade preliminary in place. Prevent their ships from accessing the sea quite so easily. Okay, so then you can buy some good cavalry, and then that'll be my money spent. So you're replenishing, you're in... You're in good shape, because I would love to fight a bridge battle here. But I think I would end up pushing you guys up to the... Oh, okay, you, you, you would try and cross through... Oh, it's all Austrian territory. Okay. So stay back there. What I'd like to do is when this army's in position, push and we'll start to squeeze the Austrians here, declare war, and then things will kick off. The army here will march on Klausenberg, capture it and hold it to secure this pass from being used against us from Russian troops. The army at Belgrade can advance and secure this bridge. The army at Sarajevo, Sarajevo will advance. They might have some dodgy engagements against Austrians to their front. But soon that will be multiple new fronts for the Austrians to be concerned about. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for the continu continuing adventures of Spain. Cheers everyone.